Welcome to SWAN, an evening of recognition. I'm Jennifer Hausen, the 2020 president of SWAN, Skagit Women's Alliance and Network. We are thrilled that you are here with us tonight. I know we all wish that we could be together celebrating and recognizing the remarkable women of Skagit Valley at the Swinomish. This year is SWAN's 36th year. Because we cannot be together this year, instead, we are celebrating an evening recognizing some of the unsung heroes that are quietly making a difference in 2020. We will enjoy this celebration from our homes this holiday season. I can promise you that tonight's event will not run long as the Women of the Year event almost always does. The women we are recognizing tonight are quietly making a difference in our community. Tonight, each of the five women we are honoring will be introduced by the SWAN board member that nominated them. We will spend a few minutes highlighting and meeting each woman. Tonight, we will also award five scholarships to young women and you will be introduced to each scholarship recipient and hear how the scholarships will affect her life. May I now introduce you to Morgan Curry, SWAN's 2020 Vice President. Thank you for the introduction, Jennifer. For all of us, this has been a unique year. Traditionally, SWAN has given out thousands of dollars in scholarship funds for women in our community. We strive to provide a mentorship and recognition program to empower women from all walks of life. It is important that we persevere during this time and continue to support women in our community. Let me introduce now to you Sylvia Reed, who will introduce you to Marla Chapa. I first met Marla Chapa in 2018. She is a proud Navy veteran from Southern Texas who moved to Whitby Island in 2012. Today, Marla is one of the most successful real estate agents in Skagit County. As a Home for Heroes affiliate, Marla donates 25% of her commission to military families and has launched several initiatives to support our small business community during the pandemic. For this reason, I am very proud to present this recognition to Marla Chapa. So I'm Marla Chapa. I am a real estate agent with Keller Williams Western Realty in Mount Vernon and a Homes for Hero affiliate. Well, I was in serving in the Navy and I had to make the decision at my 10 year mark to get out or stay in because we were finding out that my children are special needs. And I made the scary decision to get out of the Navy and see if I could make it in real estate. So I went and got my license and um, learned fast that it wasn't going to be easy at all. And we started helping people and getting out in the community because I wasn't from here. So I really made a, a really big decision to, to leave the Navy and, and try real estate. And, and it's been, it's been a, a really wonderful experience. So Homes for Heroes is an amazing program and what made me decide to do it, it was introduced to me by my real estate coach that I had with Keller Williams and it really uh, was something that meant a lot to me because when we bought our house, we didn't have but any money. We were both serving in the Navy, my ex-husband and me, and um, I thought about it. I was like, man, it would have been really nice to have this offered to us had uh, upon closing, upon buying our house, which is where I give back 25% of my commission to those who serve, which is military, first responders, medical personnel, teachers, um, law enforcement, all qualify for this very special program. And when I thought about it, I just put, remember that day when I bought my house and how much we really could have used it. So it really does mean a lot to me and we've given back over $200,000 to Skagit County Heroes. Hi, my name is Stephanie Bickley Carrillo, and I'm this year's committee scholarship chair. It is my honor to present to you this year's SWAN scholarship recipients. We really want to thank you tonight for the ability to donate and help the women 
achieve their goals as well as being able to attend this, the university schools and certificates that will not only better their lives, but also better the community. If you go to our website, you'll be able to donate and we'll be able to award even more scholarships in the 2021 year. I know these are trying times, but the scholarships and all the funds that we raised tonight will not only be going to next year's funds, but it also will allow women of the community to be able to achieve their dreams and goals. I know that is very hard during these times and the anxiety levels are so high, but knowing that your funds go to and will 100% go to the scholarship fund is a guarantee that not only will you be helping the dreams, but also bettering the Skagit County community. Hi, my name is Flor Samorano and I will be attending Western Washington University for my master's in teaching. As a Skagit Valley community member, I am very grateful to be one of the recipients for the Women's Alliance and Network Scholarship. The scholarship is a great opportunity for me to be able to go back to school and I plan on becoming an elementary teacher here in Skagit Valley and I am thankful for the scholarship for making it possible to further my education. Hi, I'm Nicole Long, the Director of Development and Marketing at the Helping Hands Food Bank. Strong women support strong women and the leadership at Helping Hands feels no different. Supporting organizations like SWAN help further elevate women in our community to get the tools and resources they need to further their education, as well recognize and celebrate leaders in the community for their incredible work they've done. From job internships to board positions, Helping Hands is proud to offer ways for women in Skagit County to be involved. Let me now introduce Morgan Curry, who will introduce to you Tamsin Bell. Tamsin Bell is the Economic Development Manager at the Economic Development Alliance of Skagit County, better known as EDASC. Tamsin has spent countless hours helping local businesses and nonprofit organizations get funding for COVID relief through grant opportunities who have partnered with EDASC. Tamsin focused on ensuring that every business and nonprofit had equitable means to apply for grant funds. Her unique dedication shines with inclusion efforts like vast outreach, translating applications, connecting organizations to other funds if better suited, and going above and beyond in assisting business owners with the application process. Because of Tamsin's commitment, she played a monumental role in local businesses and nonprofits, receiving over $800,000 from county funds, helping some of our favorite local businesses stay afloat during this pandemic. Okay, um, I'm Tamsin Bell. I'm the Economic Development Manager for the Economic Development Alliance of Skagit County. Um, one of the things that I do here is to help build the fabric of the community by creating a commonwealth and building the tax base through creation and retention of jobs for the people. Um, since COVID, uh, there's been a big challenge of getting funding to support businesses, uh, weathering the the catastrophe of this pandemic. Uh, so we've been administering several different grant programs um, uh, to help support businesses uh, and get the funding relief that they need in order, in order to weather uh, the pandemic. I think that there's um, a little bit of funding and a little bit of resources to go around for a big, huge, uh, issue. So I, I do think we're making a difference on a small scale. There's never too much that can't be done. Um, there's more that we could do and more that we could do better every time. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a moving target. This is going to be a long lasting issue. It's going to take a long time to recover and it's going to take more than just one organization or one person to help support this community and make, uh, make a big difference in people's lives. Currently, we've been able to provide uh, almost $2 million to about 260 businesses in this, throughout this county, and we will continue to provide support as more funding programs become available. Uh, it has been very important for us to listen to the community, to hear about what they need, to hear about what businesses are important, um, the uniqueness that they provide to the community, and why they make Skagit a wonderful place to live, work, and play. So we will continue to gather resources uh, to share throughout the community. And also uh, anytime funding becomes available, we will make those public and, and try to help people 
uh, navigate those those resources as best they can. We've um, helped uh, provide assistance in other languages. We'd love to continue to bolster that support and and uh, reach more diverse folks in the community. Um, we've helped people uh, overcome technology gaps, uh, and that's something else that we'd also like to continue to support to help people remain competitive uh, in a virtual economy uh, when they're <laughs> not necessarily the most uh, tech-savvy folks. So um, uh, we do see uh, a lot to continue to overcome, and we will continue to learn and grow and uh, nurture and listen and find ways to help people get the support that they need in order to enjoy the work that they do for eight hours a day. <laughs> Hi, my name is Morgan Curry. In addition to my involvement with SWAN, I am the executive director of a nonprofit called Skagit Leaners. The Skagit Leaners board and I are humble to support SWAN, primarily due to their women mentorship and empowerment programs. We value transformative leaders in our community and stand strongly behind efforts that create more inclusion, diversity, and equity for female leaders in our valley. We are honored to participate in recognizing women who have been some of the many unsung heroes during this COVID-19 pandemic. On behalf of Skagit Leaners, we deeply thank and appreciate all of the work these amazing women have done to keep our community thriving, safe, and aware. My name is Elizabeth Curtis, and I am attending Scandinavia Valley College for the BASM program. And I am very grateful for this award. Thank you very, very much. It means a lot to me. Thank you. I would like to introduce Amanda Hubick, who nominated Annette Pinky. I am truly honored to propose Annette Pinky. Whatever the challenge, Annette is someone who fully commits herself. Her passion for bringing out the best in other people and in her community really came to light this summer with the Black Lives Matter movement. And that is firm in her belief, but approachable and compassionate in how she engages with people. She's done an incredible job at mobilizing folks of all ages to help promote diversity, inclusiveness, and equity. She is a true leader who both whispers and roars. My name is Annette Pankey. I um, am part of a movement. Uh, we've seen a lot of divisiveness over the last few years, and I wanted to be a part of something where we could create spaces where people of opposing issues, thoughts, point of view could come together and talk about what's going on in our country, in our communities, and try to find some, some solutions or at least find some commonality. I think coming from a background of strong women who have always believed in see something, say something, and better yet, do something, so this is my opportunity to be a part of something where we're doing something so that we can raise up people, that we can get to a point where we consider individuality as part of in inclusiveness. We can see diversity as part of something that's positive and progressive, and we can work on equity for everyone. I work with a group called IDEA, IDEA, and that stands for Inclusiveness, Diversity, and Equity in Anacortes. And we're a support network, we're, or a hub, if you will, of individuals who are trying to advance in our community these ideas of we are one community and we need to recognize everybody that's in that community and raise everybody up. So this gives me hope, and here's an example of why. Uh, there's this phenomenon that happens in Anacortes on Sunday afternoons where there's opposing corners of people that are out protesting, and sometimes the, the protests can get contentious. But when I'm there, I try to find an opportunity to make my way over to the opposing side and engage with people. And I normally ask them out for coffee or to meet in the park so that we have an opportunity to sit down and find our, 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 our common issues. And, I'll, and it actually has worked because I've met with four different people and they've all been very generous and open, heart, open hearted in wanting to share. I've shared. And even if I don't change anyone's opinion or they don't change mine, at least we have an opportunity to come together to reflect on what is possible for our community and to consider ways that we can work together. And during those, those protests, I usually have a sign that says either Black Lives Matter, because I believe Black Lives do matter, or I carry a sign that says, do better. And the reason why I carry that sign is because I am a big fan of Maya Angelou. And she said, do your best until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. 
Hi, my name is Wendy Sanderson. I'm president of the League of Women Voters of Skagit County. We are very happy to be supporting SWAN and its programs that recognize the achievement and the success of women in our community. On this year, which celebrates the 100th anniversary of the League of Women Voters in the United States, it's especially rewarding to be able to recognize all of the accomplishments of women in Skagit County. Thank you so much. My name is Danielle Felzer, and I am attending Skagit Valley College's Associate Nursing Program. And to me, this scholarship just means not having to work full time while I'm in school. Um, I enjoy my job, but the program is really demanding uh, time wise. And I am also able to take time off when it conflicts with my class schedule. Um, along with that, it's just a great encouragement to know that there are women in the Valley who want to support me and encourage me in this way. And it's um, a great motivator to do well, to know that there's so many people rooting for me and willing to invest in my education. It is important in this unusual year filled with unsettled emotions that we come together to recognize the unsung women we may not know right here in our community. These women who in perhaps small ways are making a big difference this is important to honor these difference makers in the Swan tradition, because when we take their stories together, we can see that we are all creating a strong fabric that holds us all together. And as always, Swan is shining a light on the deep strength and the individual power of giving back that we have right here in Skagit Valley. Hi, my name is Brittany Collins, and I am a graduate student at the Evans School of Public Policy, and I'm very, very excited to be accepting the Swan Scholarship. Um, it's going to help me in my journey uh, towards becoming a, an advocate for better public policy that helps strengthen our communities. Hello, I'm Julie Blasek. And I'm Brian Poppy. And we are the partners of HKP Architects. And we support Swan because we know how important it is to support and recognize the women in our community who are making a difference and helping shape a stronger future for all women. Thank you. I'd also like to introduce Tina Tate, who nominated Polly Dubell. When the board members were asked to come up with someone in the community that has made a big impact over COVID, I immediately thought of the health department. The health department has done so many great things since COVID started. And I emailed a friend of mine there to find out who in the health department has made the biggest impact. Immediately, Polly's name came up as somebody who has taken the lead in many aspects that had to do with COVID, including starting the testing site. For that reason, I nominated Polly. Uh, I'm Polly Dubel. I'm the Communicable Disease and Environmental Health Program Manager with Skagit County Public Health. I've also been the Health Branch Lead for Skagit County's COVID-19 response. It is extremely important right now. I feel um, both fortunate and um, and overwhelmed on a daily basis with the importance of the work, the need for it in the community, the constant question of how we do this work most effectively in the most efficient manner using all of our available resources. I think the biggest challenges are um, how to effectively tilt behavior so that people understand the importance of uh, protecting those around them, those that they love and those that they may not know from becoming infected with COVID-19 because most people won't have a serious case of illness, but we don't know who it is that will. And so if we don't control our behavior, we are having serious impact on everyone around us. When I'm out in the field, sometimes um, it tends to be on weekends, providing support to people in isolation quarantine that have urgent needs for groceries or things that just can't wait until the following week when we can arrange things for them or if, um, for instance, the test site has urgent needs, I may respond and support that. No, I don't feel that we're winning the battle right now because we're in exponential growth in the number of cases in Skagit County, but this is something that's happening in Washington State and around the country and in fact, around the world. So this is a serious, serious fall wave of disease. Um, 
and I feel though that if we could get the best behavior out of everyone that they're capable of doing, um, that we could start to turn the corner and control the outbreak. I might be the person in front of the camera, but my team is incredible. Everyone in public health and in many areas of the county has responded to this pandemic with all of their energy and responded day after day after day, keeping a positive attitude, working many, many, many hours. And so it's not just me, it's it's the entire public health team and the Department of Emergency Management and our first responders and our hospitals and healthcare workers and everyone out there. They are all working at least as hard as me. Um, it's my job. It's a job that needs to be done. And that's what we do. We, we go forth and we get up and we do our job day after day. And that's why we're in public health. And um, it's our responsibility. We are CPI Plumbing and Heating and we support SWAN and their programs. My name is Claudia Viones. I will be attending the Western Washington University Language and Literacy Graduate Program. And this scholarship means a lot because as a graduate student, there's not much support out there. Um, I am a, a warrior first year teacher and as we know well first year teachers need all the help they can get so thank you so much this scholarship means i am that much closer to my dreams let me now introduce christy southard who will introduce to you laho zackmeyer hello fellow swan supporters my name is christy southard and as a swan board member i am so excited and honored to introduce laho zackmeyer LAHO's tremendous commitment to provide health care to those in our community, as well as other communities in this time of COVID, is so admirable and worthy of recognition. LAHO is a registered nurse who I have had the pleasure of receiving services from. She has such an incredible story and is a superb example of individuals that we in SWAN love to acknowledge and support. Thank you, LAHO, for the sacrifices you are making in order to care for those areas hit hardest by COVID-19. You are an inspiration. Hi, my name is Laho Zachmeyer, and I've been working on the front lines fighting COVID since the middle of April. I watched the governor of New York ask for help at the end of March. He was begging for nurses who weren't dealing with the surge in their state to come help the state of New York. After hearing his speech, I knew that in my heart, I needed to find a way to go over there and help. About a week later, an opportunity came up for me to go, and I knew that as a nurse, it was my duty to go and help. I had less than 40 hours to pack and be on a flight to heading to the epicenter of COVID in New York City. I had no idea what hospital or shift I'd be working, but I knew that I had to be flexible and I would be helping where I was needed. I was quickly assigned to a med surge unit and was able to help patients and also relieve nurses by giving them a much needed time off to recover from everything that they had just been through. I completed 28 days in New York a month and a half later, I received a call to go help in Texas and completed another 90 days. I worked through the spike and then was able to see my COVID unit close because the numbers had finally subsided. A month after that, I was called again to help in another part of Texas. I am currently here helping with a spike that is rapidly increasing by the day. There have been times I wanted to throw the towel and call it quits. I miss my family and I miss being home, but right now my patients need me the most. I have cried and prayed with many of my patients. I have answered phone calls and tried to give comfort throughout the nights to families who can't sleep because they are so worried about their loved ones. I have rolled patients in their wheelchairs to the window so they can see their family outside. I have held cell phones for family members so they can read to their children at night for bed. I have held countless hands and tried to give comfort as much as I can as they struggle to breathe. These are just a few things I have done while working on a COVID unit, and unfortunately, I know this won't be my last assignment. I can describe it like this. If you saw a house burning, would you stop and help? I cannot look the other way and pretend that this isn't happening. So until then, I'm gonna to continue to help where I can while I'm needed. I pray daily that our small valley never has to see what I've been through, and I know that this is far from being over. I want to thank you for this nomination and bringing light to COVID on the front lines. Thank you. 
Bustos Media is pleased to sponsor SWAN because we believe that women contribute a lot to the community. Women in today's society are an example of intelligence and strength. We are very capable of taking our responsibilities, obligations, and goals that we set out to do. Over the years, our ability to achieve the best result has been demonstrated. This is why it is very important for us at Bustos Media to support SWAN, who helps women in their personal and professional growth. Thank you. Hello, I'm Laura Henderson, past president and current board member for SWAN. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening. I feel honored to have been part of SWAN for the past six years. You see, SWAN runs deep in my family blood. My mother, Carol Pritchard Jelinek, was chosen as the first ever woman of the year in 1984. In the 36 years since, we have been privileged to honor and support other women as they work to grow and improve their professional lives. Our women of the board honorees come from a diverse background with success in mentoring the next generation, engaging in the community, and making a huge impact in their personal and professional lives. These women have backgrounds in many different areas, including education, nonprofits, small business ownership, banking, healthcare, real estate, legal, and politics. Although we were unable to celebrate in person this year, we will continue to follow the extraordinary women supporting them through scholarships and festivities and planning to see you all again at the banquet in October 21. If you wish to support us, please go to our website. Remember to keep your eyes and ears open for opportunities, volunteer to do what others may not, and support the young women coming up behind you. They are our future. Thank you for your continued support of SWAN. And before I let Morgan Curry say the final good night, I want to particularly recognize and thank you, Morgan, for everything that you have done to support me and the SWAN board this year as vice president. It was not always easy in this sometimes rocky year, trying to figure out how to pivot and still maintain the legacy of SWAN. And ladies and gentlemen, I must say, Morgan has excelled. You are truly remarkable. If you haven't yet met Morgan, or if you haven't witnessed her in action before, I urge you to join us next year in 2021 on October 21st and see for yourself what she can create. Hopefully we will be back at the Swinomish. Morgan, here is a token of my appreciation for all that you have done for Swan and the board. It's from our special sponsor at Bella Soul Spa. Happy holidays to all of you. And a final few words from Morgan. Thank you so much, Jennifer. This was really unexpected and I feel so humble to follow in your footsteps. On behalf of myself and the board, we also got you a gift as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for your dedication and your commitment to our board this year. Happy holidays, everyone.